Hey everybody, it's Mandy. It has been a long time since I've made a video, so um, I've been really, really busy with work and, and family and life in general. So um, I have, however, even though I haven't really scrapbooked in a while, I've been getting my scrapbooking area better organized. So this is kind of what I have right now. Um, I'm still in the process of getting this part of it kind of worked out a little bit. And I, I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy a little bit here, too. But um, here's where I put, like, my fabrics for any flowers that I hope to make at some point. Um, uh, these are my scrapbooking albums that I have. And then, of course, this is my famous folder of my mom's poetry that I'm scrapbooking at the time. Um, this holder, I just kind of have my glue gun holding it and my tape gun holding it. However, um, it's kind of knocked over in the process because this tape gun so heavy, my ATG gun. Um, this is a box that I started to work on and then just kind of put it to the side. So at some point I'm going to do this and embellish it, but I just haven't really gotten around to it. And these are just some extra little containers to store stuff in. I have moved my pins out of this because my son kept getting in it. So um, I don't have anything in there right now. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to put in there kind of difficult since it's kind of an open container, um, so it's hard to figure out what all to put in it. This is a little figurine my son got me at the Dollar, the dollar Tree, the Goodwill one day. Um, it can, can put little things in it. I haven't done anything yet because now I think I've got so much stuff that I need to buy more things to be able to put things in. I've got bottle caps in here in that little container. And in this little container now are my paper embellishments. They're all there. So basically I'm able to categorize my embellishments better to understand what I have. In here I have... Yes, Sue, I'm using your little tin to good use. <laughs> um, this is where I'm keeping my pens and things now. At least until my son finds them. Then I might move them. <laughs> Um, and then again, hey Sue, <laughs> got your little tin again. Um, and here I have, which I plan on embellishing these tins actually at some point. I think it would be fun as soon as I figure out. Sorry, I'm holding this and I'm doing this with my right hand, but it's hard to open a tin with just one hand, I guess. Um, hang on, it's going to give a second. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I really need to get a tripod for my camera. That's one thing I kind of noticed with the last videos that I did is I need a tripod. Ha! Ah, buttons galore. That's where all my buttons are. I didn't even know what I had put in it. That's why I needed to open it because I couldn't remember. <laughs> I did all this last weekend and didn't know what all I had done. So. Um, in here I've got like my block that I use for my stamps, even though it's not technically a block for stamps, I still use it for it anyway. Um, and then I was also using this for my stamps too, a, an empty cassette tape thing, yeah. <sighs> and uh, my journaling spots I've got here. Um, then up here, and, and these things, were it was really cool. Um, you know, I had these two here. And I didn't really know that you could stack them until I saw these. And, but these kind of like interlock on the sides, which I thought was really cool. But I was like, well, if they can stack, then I'll just stack these two. So that allowed for me to have more room because now it's more vertical than, it, than as it was before where it was more horizontal. So I kind of like that idea. That's what I did. So I've got these four shelves one. Well, it's just three, but it gives the illusion of having four shelves. Anyway, okay, so in here I've got my um, charms and uh, my O-rings and um, this used to have my buttons in it, but now it doesn't. It has, what does it have in it? Oh, it has brads in it. That's what it is, my brads. So, that's in that whole container. This container here has jewelry and things that I'm going to take apart and uh, use for different things somehow. I haven't even taken them apart since the last time I had them. And then way up here are my paper bags. 
I've got a uh, black and white ones. Thank you, Sue, for the white ones. Um, then over here, I've got um, different little embellishments like these I got from Sue. Um, yeah, I got a lot of things from Sue, apparently. Um, these are um, basically embellishments that I have to glue on in, in different ways. You know, I've got you know just a bunch of different things here. So um, feathers too. Uh, I've got my hole punch here. I've got my scissors and uh, my single hole punch here. Um, and then in this box, like before, I have my rotary cutter, my seam ripper, and my exacto uh, knife thing there. So that was still a good hiding place for them. So I'm hoping that the pins will be having will have a good hiding space now since it's kind of out of sight for my son. Um, these are some more. Um, paper embellishments, but they're kind of categorized as to the, what they are exactly. Like I've got, you know, long oval ones, round ones, um, little uh, page marker things, and oh, that's one. that one's actually out of place. <laughs> okay, a big, big round ones, um, small rectangles. Uh, these are like those uh, photo corner holders. Um, and then these are kind of like flowery, scallopy things. And then these are just a bunch of different square shapes. Things. So, anyway, that seemed to be good and hold them well, so I've cut that. Uh -huh. Bye. No, no, no. I'm filming. Huh? I'm filming. Huh? I'm filming. Oh. <sighs> okay. Um, in here I've got a. Uh, envelopes and uh, like little pop-up things that I haven't used yet but I'll probably use at some point. I have an empty jar now so huh, I think I need to buy some more stuff right? And then I don't know what all I'm going to use these for but right now they're here. I'll probably make some kind of tassels or something and use them maybe in some of my albums or something. So that all goes up there and my page. My, uh, no not that one goes like this. These go up there like that. And I still have my son's little outline back there. I'm going to move it though so I can see it better now. Um, so that's what I've got so far. All the things in the drawers have stayed the same. I haven't really messed with those things. I mainly wanted to deal with the stuff that's in my sock. So that's what I have for my sewing table now that is now my craft table. Which now, as you see, I have a lot more room to work because this can actually move back here, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. That moves there. And so now I have a lot more surface area to work with here. So that saves me and, and makes things a lot easier for me to work on actually at this table. So, And in a minute, I'm going to show you my closet. So hang on just a minute. <laughs> 